Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette here with the next video, and this one is focusing on these anti two star uh, internet bases, for lack of a better term. Uh, internet bases might not describe them very well, but they are these common bases you see that really aren't uh, anti three star caliber. They're not what you're going to see in the CWL type wars. But depending on the clan you're in, you guys may see these more than you do anti three star bases. Um, they are these common anti two star layouts at Town Hall 9 and Town Hall 10. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the uh, important things to do when attacking these bases and kind of the key to success for getting the three star on these types of bases. So we're going to start with one uh, Town Hall 10v10, and then we'll take a look at two. Uh, 9v9s to give you guys the full picture of how to uh, take out these bases because nothing is more frustrating than you know spending a lot of time uh, on anti three star bases and having some success there than attacking one of these uh, bases no offense to them really um, but attacking one of these bases that really isn't as as good of a layout and just failing at it so the key to these bases just to kind of be straightforward about it is going to be controlling the middle you want to be careful about, first of all, being fancy. Uh, there's no need to be fancy in these types of bases. Don't get caught up in trying to use dragons or um, a really elaborate queen charge unless the base is obviously calling for it. But don't, that shouldn't be the first thing you're thinking. You should be looking to use a standard golem based kill squad attack um, with hogs or la loon on the back end of the base. And that'll do, that'll do the job about 90% of the time for these types of bases. The reason you want to control the middle with a kill squad is because the one thing these bases tend to have going for them, this Town Hall 10 base, not quite as much as some others, um, but oftentimes they have a pretty powerful core because they tend to pack in like a bunch of Teslas. Um, if it's a Town Hall 10, the Inferno Towers, Giant Bombs, uh, they tend to really pack the core full of difficult things. So you want to be careful about sending uh, hogs or loons through the middle of the these bases because uh, oftentimes that's the most dangerous area on these anti two star type bases by that town hall. So uh, you, you're often better off bringing a little bit of a bigger kill squad, you know, two to three golems. Really try to control the middle with your heroes, with wizards, um, whatever else you can bring in your kill, kill squad, possibly bowlers. And then using a medium sized uh, hog or laloon on the back end of the base. The biggest mistake is using a very small kill squad and trying to just hog the rest. Um, that can work depending on what type of internet anti two star type base it is. But for the ones that have the, the big uh, cores with um, lots of unknowns in them, you want to be very careful um, because anti three star bases. Uh, which you might be used to depending on what clan you're in don't have those same types of threats in the middle of the base typically and they tend to be more diluted the defenses are more diffused around the base but these anti uh, these anti two star bases can be deceiving and kind of trick you um, so don't be too uh, short on a kill squad going into the base here uh, this next one is seven and he is coming at this base with a two golem attack, uh, La Lune here, and if you have lower level heroes, which you very well might, especially if you're facing uh, these types of bases, just bring extra wizards, bring some Valks, bring some more stuff in, a kill, uh, in your kill squad. You can check out my video on lower level heroes for more information. I think just a few weeks back, I made a pretty uh, exhaustive video about uh, how to attack with lower level heroes. So you can check that out for more information. But um, not only is it all of the defenses in the core, because this you know base only has the two expos, the bomb tower, uh, the hero altars, um, but really the base is so compact, typically these anti two star bases, especially the Town Hall 9 ones and even the Town Hall 10 ones, um, that you want to use a somewhat of a big kill squad to get in there and break up the base because Laloon, Hogs, they don't work well against a huge blob of a base with everything really compact. They're better against more of a narrow runway or uh, like the hog lane as I call it um, or for balloons just a nice little balloon pathing They're better moving in like a two to three defense wide Channel through the base like they are in this than having to get split up splitting into the core and having to cover uh, like a circular type region of the base so That's why once again you want to really make sure you 
get in there, you get to the core, and you have some kind of presence in there taking it out. Um, typically going to be a golem-based kill squad. It's the most simple, it's the easiest, and it'll work. Uh, but not only for the damage, but also just to make the pathing easier for your defensive targeting troops. Because once again, you are going to be using either Laloon or Hogs on quite a few of these bases. Be careful about using some of the, uh, the new meta troops like Miners or Witches or something like that. Because um, on these bases that are a little bit um, almost older in their design, you want to use the old uh, but good attack strategies. Uh, they're typically the golem based defense targeting on the back end like the laloon and the hogar so uh one more attack for you guys to take a look at here this is a like a town hall 9.5 but basically a town hall 9 still um not even a max town hall 9 really has some uh a few lower defenses actually or those new defenses i don't know um yeah, maybe those are new defenses that were just built. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. Uh, this next one here is a three golem based attack, has the heroes, has the bowlers. Um, because look at that core, that is not something you want to send hogs in. If he just brought one golem and his heroes, and then like 30, 32 hogs or whatever would be left over, that would be risky because not only would there be all that damage in the core with the giant bombs, the Teslas, the wizard towers, even the skelly traps, the, the heroes, just all of that in the core. Not only that, but also the hog pathing is not good, um, as it often is not against these anti two star bases. Same with Laloon pathing. So, those are the two reasons, I guess, just to summarize, um, that you want to bring a solid kill squad. Doesn't have to be huge, doesn't even have to be as big as Apex Predators kill squad but it has to be decent sized um, to get in there and control the core of the base to make it much easier on the back end. So that way you don't feel stupid or embarrassed in, in your clan failing on these anti two star bases. Uh, you can take them out with ease and then focus your attention more when you face an anti three star base. So uh, shout out to one hive alpha. These attacks were from a one hive alpha war just stopped by to get some attacks. They're doing great. And, um, yeah, I actually am planning on a recruiting video to come out soon to give you guys way more information about the clan family, and that should be out sometime soon. So uh, you guys will get much more in uh, information if you're interested, and that is it for this video, though. Thanks for watching, and good luck against these anti-two-star bases. Hopefully you won't need it, but if you need more luck, here it is. Good luck. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bisectatron out.